I've got timber, which only means one thing. It's time for another Blake build. Come with me. Welcome back you beautiful people and welcome to another Blake Builds where I'm gonna turn all of this into this. Into this, the ultimate bike storage. Now why did I wanna build this? Well, because in there you haven't got much room to work on your bikes. The, you, you got to, I gotta take out all my bikes to work on, on, work on one bike, especially in those winter months where you can't work outside in the garden. I've got this beautiful thing right here. I made this ages ago just to hide my bins. My bins live in here. But I thought, why don't I turn this into bike storage? Yeah, bike storage, wash station. I have a drain there so I can utilize that. Um, but I've got to move all my beautiful flowers and get some slabs. But I've been smart this time. I've actually went on to Marketplace and I found some cheap slabs. And I've got some bargains on wood, which I'll come to in a bit. Oh, oh can't wait. <laughs> Right, stringed out where I'm gonna lay my slabs, nice and level. So I'm gonna cut that out, move this, more time lapse. But that, oh, it's big. It's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be, I can't wait to start building. It's near the end of the day and I have got so much to do. So cleared it out, taken out the old posts, moved it all over. But now I'm gonna work into the night. I'm gonna lay all these slabs here, which by the way, I got for 40 pounds on Marketplace. And there's five out there that I got for free because I went past someone's house and I saw slabs and I was like, I'm gonna get those slabs. Oh, I don't wanna scratch the fridge. Don't scratch the fridge. Ah, oh, for sake. Uh, yep, got them for free. So I'm gonna lay, lay these ones down here. 12 there, and then six there. All right, this is complete. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's definitely gonna do, nothing is wobbly. I've filled in the cracks, I've washed it. It might need another wash afterwards when it fully dries out. Anyway, we work, we're moving on to the shed bit. This is the exciting bit. So, got my bike out, so I wanna hang them up. It needs to be around about there with the floor and a bit more on the roof and the ceiling. The roof's gonna be so high. So what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna take the front wheel out. And I think by doing the front wheel out, I can have a really low shed. Look, it brings it down by like nearly three foot with a little bit of height. I think the ceiling and the roof, or the roof, is gonna be the height of the fence, which is perfect. I went into my local DIY store and I saw the last bit of the pallet and I was like, well, oh, they're all a bit twisted. This one is flipping twisted like, oh. I asked and they said, I oh, can do it for one pound 50. And then I was like, mm, a pound? and it was a pound. I saved 62 pounds. So I got a pound per length. I got 25 of, it, 25 of them. I needed 30, so I bought a few extras new, which I needed some straight ones, because I don't want the shed to be like on the wonk. Uh, so yeah, I saved 62 pounds there, 260 pounds there, 300 and something. So far, I've saved about 320 pounds. It pays to shop around. This is the best bit. I love woodwork. I'm gonna get all my works tools out and uh, start cutting, measuring, screwing together, hopefully not make that many mistakes because I like making mistakes. But uh, yeah, first, let's make the base. One, two. Man, 
That is one of my new favorite tools. I'm gonna build the front of the lockup. So I'm gonna measure how high I want it to be. It doesn't need to be that high. It doesn't need to be too crazy. Half a foot on each side, so it's a big wide entrance. Boom, boom, boom. Then I'll build the sides. Yes. Oh, go on then. <laughs> Ow. Ones. First cut boo boo. Doesn't matter, didn't cut it too short, cut it too long. It's 190 and I just cut it at 190. I need to subtract the width of two of them. And the width of two of them is 38, so 38 times two, 60, 70, 79. 76, whoa, I'm really bad. So that is 190, so I've got to subtract 76. So that goes in there like that. And that should measure up at 30. Oh my gosh, it doesn't. 32. That'll do. <laughs> oh, my math's so good. So that's 24. So we need one, two and a half, right? Yeah, it's just one and a half. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. One and a half, one and a half. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have to actually get this right because if we don't get this right, the numbers on the door are gonna be totally weird. And we want even numbers. So the gap, if I go 30, 30, which is 60, take away 60 away from the overall length, which gives you 190. Was it, was it 90? It was 80. 80. It was 80. 180. <laughs> Half 180 is uh, nine. <laughs> Three. 30. All right, let's do the same over there. <laughs> no, they don't go in the end. They don't. No. Those do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, Leo just went way, and I was like, what? What, what have I done wrong? I, what I have done wrong. Um, things there. They're supposed to be... I actually cut those for the, um, the, the bits to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to cut 30. These are meant to be on there. So this can go in here. Not all is lost. <gasps> oh. Oh. I have to drill it. I have to drill it. It's cracking it. Next, big wall. <laughs> that actually looks really good, doesn't it? There's some big doors going on there. Let's get that screwed in. Let's work out the angle of the fan angle of the roof. We'll do that, but before we do that, we're gonna build the two sides on the, of the shed, lock it all together, and then the structure is pretty much there. Then do the ceiling, the roof, screw on the roof stuff, because that's quite cool. And um, yeah, get in there. I like it. Look at it. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? I 
I've got all four sides bolted and bolted, screwed together. Uh, there's a few little bits I need to put some noggins in here, down here, along here, and I'll put some extra ones in the back. The sides are all good. Right, let's uh, work out the roof or the angle. Should be easy. Push it a bit. Ow! That was my finger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cut this and use this as the the actual straight line and uh, get rid of this bit. But leave a little bit of an overhang for guttering and water. It's not deep enough. I tell you what is deep enough. I've got another tool. This tool scares me, this thing, but I'm sure this is gonna be more than enough. So I might need two hands here. If I cut, you can hold that. That'll be great. Yes! High five. High five. It to rain. Literally started to rain, yeah. That's not good. Roof's on. Should we wrap up today? Yep. Literally wrap up today. I'm gonna wrap it in this stuff. Oh wow, sticky stuff. But I need another tool. Yes. Stapler. We need a stapler. And light. Do we need light? Let's get light too, because it's getting really dark. It's like, gone seven, there you go. Five past seven, it's still going. Yeah. As you can probably tell, I've put it upside down. <laughs> oh, Mr. Samson, what do you, what do you like? What do you like, Mr. Samson? I don't know, Mr. Samson. So tired, Mr. Samson. That's a wrap, literally wrapped it up. Took us 30 minutes to wrap it. It's very late, it's half past seven. 30 minutes to do that. I'll see you guys in the morning. Leo, you ready to go to bed? Because we've had a long day. <sighs> what an absolutely splendid morning. <laughs> Right, the plan for today is to complete this thing. Uh, I'm gonna start with the inside. I'm gonna put all the walls up. I have something really crazy. Come look at this, come with me. Aluminium diamond checkered plate. That is gonna go on the back wall of the, the shed lockup because it's gonna look cool, just shiny when you get in there. Let's put the ceilings up, no, put the ceiling and the walls with this stuff. So I'll take one of these down.
got the instructions, which I should have read. <laughs> the instructions for the roof. You would probably be doing it in the comments that I've run the roofed beams the wrong way. So I'm gonna run some here so I can actually screw in. Anyway, you live and learn. Thank you. Um, I'm working with dregs now, really bad. I pretty much left the, the bent ones for the door. You know, if the door doesn't open and shut properly, it's because of the timber. <laughs> yeah. Not because of my uh, skills. <laughs> I've done a thing. I've made something. The thing. And that lines up perfectly like that. Oh, high five, dude. Yes! Right, now to duplicate this door, so copy and paste and run time lapse. Ta da! Look at that, oh, sawdust everywhere, all over me. Two doors. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Now it's time to put the icing on the cake. And that is Feather Edge, the icing on the cake. Now I've made this little noggin thing, and this basically gives me an inch overhang, so I put it on the bottom, you can see it gives me an inch. And then that will just continue all the way up to the top here. So might be here for a while. Okay, it's the next day. I've uh, done some progress. We've got all the cladding on. Doors are done. I stayed up pretty late last night. But now, I need, a, I need to make a handle because I can't actually, I can't get in there. I need the keys for that. But it's time to make these little brackets to go in there to hold the bike up. So I've come up with this idea. Look at that. I'm going to make a little bracket like this. Got some flat plate here. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to cut this bit off here at 18, uh, 18 mil. And uh, hopefully the axle will just slide in, in there. So I'm going to uh, weld up probably four of these. So it gives me a total of eight bikes. So four up like that and four with the rear wheel up on the top. Now it's time for my favorite bit, welding and grinding and cutting and ooh. First one, done. Now I've just got to make another three more of these, but quite happy with that. That looks flipping cool. Definitely overkill, but my bikes are not going to come off the wall. I'm looking for inspiration to make a door handle. I pulled out this old pedal spanner, 15 mil pedal spanner. I thought that would be quite cool to put on the door and you can just open it up nice and big. And I can use these holes right here and I just weld in there and I can have 
a nice door handle. I think that I think that will work really well. That's hot. Look at that. Bikes are in, bikes are out of there, bikes are in here in the new home. I'm gonna get a humongous chain and I'm gonna just chain all of them up and keep the key with the shed keys, blah, blah. Anyway, now I have lots of front wheels that I need to find a place for. So I thought, I'm gonna make these spindles so I can stick the tires, slide the tire, the wheels on through the axle, keep it nice and safe. Front wheels are there, front wheels are here, bikes are here, all locked up, gravy baby. Voila, complete, look at it. I love how it's turned out. I love it, it's been a few days of doing this. I thought it'd take me two days, but it didn't. It took me a while in the evenings to complete it, especially the slabbing. But let me walk you through it. Bikes are on the wall. I actually love what I've designed right here. Look at that, I like that. It's a bit ghetto, but it does a job. I might put some rubber in here because some people have said, mm, it's gonna scratch your axles and blah, blah, blah. Just some generic Jeff Bezos uh, bicycle clamps for the, for the wall. They work out perfectly. I love the checkered plate on the rear. Thank you very much to work for that one. These spindles are great, but this is cool. I like this. I've just got some pipe. Just cut a little groove in there. And these are the most commonly used uh, Allen wrenches, Allen keys, to take out your front wheel. So these are literally gonna live in here forever. If they're missing, it's my kids and they've taken them. Not me, because those stay there forever. But there we go. I've got some security here, locked up all in here with some Abbas locks. I've got some Abbas locks on the outside. Got big, ah, oh, I love it, I love it. Thank you very much for watching. Let us any comments down below if I need to do something else or maybe add to it. There's another video coming, episode two, where it's gonna be a wash station. So I can wash my bikes and then put them back in here. But I've got a cool little uh, idea for that. I'm gonna collect the God's water to wash God's mud off my bikes. Anyway, I'll see you later. See ya.